you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the desert island, somewhere <laughs> of Cookley Bay, where you are allowed to take with you Duke Ellington's autobiography of, uh, of uh, The Music Is My Mistress and any five musicians of your choice. <laughs> That was, um, that was uh, in the title Sleepy Lagoon, a, a composition by Eric Coates in 1930, which uh, not a very typical sort of Eric Coates thing, and stuff that I remember playing the, the school, the Dan Buster's March and stuff like that. But, but he also wrote things like Sleepy Lagoon, which is lovely. We're going to move on uh, with another title uh, from Tommy Dawson. This one, a little more modern. We're getting a bit late for the, uh, for the Whitney Bay Jazz Festival. This is 1938. Uh, it's music maestro, please, and it features Roy and Nell, the Humber. fantastic trombone player and as a kid when I was maybe six or seven I think I was watching a film um, that had a guy called Charles Winninger in it and he did a trombone duet with Tommy Dorsey um, I think the film was Broadway Melody is that right Malcolm mm, not sure <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they played this catchy thing called I love corny music which sounds really corny 
Um, in a way it is, but it's also great. And it certainly inspired me as a seven-year-old kid to think, wow, this is really, really good. And I, I hadn't seen it uh, until I was browsing YouTube. And you know what happens when you browse YouTube, all sorts of stuff comes up. But, um, but so did this, uh, this thing with, uh, with Tommy Dorsey and Charles Lindenberger. It's, it's actually really, really good. I love corny music. That's one of the things that's responsible for me standing up here and doing this. <laughs> um, we're now going to play uh, another lovely song by Tommy Dorsey, uh, one of the big band ones that we have to do. You have heard this one before when we played it with Rico and his Bunny Berrigan set, so forgive me that. Um, but this is Marie. back to the microphone now to sing uh, another title that was sang by Anita Boyer uh, with the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra in 1939, so we're still saying early modern. Uh, 
And this is entitled, Darn That Drink. sentimental set without doing this number. Uh, there are people in this room that remember me playing this in my school band. <laughs> um, it, was, it was easier then because it was down a fifth. Uh, when you become a grown up you've got to play it the same, in the same, uh, same octave as, as, as Tommy used to play it in. And I remember on one occasion I was in Denmark with Harry Strutter's Hot Rhythm Orchestra and there was a band there called the Carling Family. Yeah. Yeah. Now this would be quite a few years ago. Gunhild Carling was about 12 or 13 at the time. And she was playing, Getting Sentimental Over You, on the trombone, in the same register that Dorsey played it in. And I thought, wow, that is amazing. And just after I thought it was amazing, she got to the second chorus, took the bloody thing up an octave. <laughs> No. <laughs> 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 okay, chaps. <laughs> Thank you. 
I forgot to watch it as well, but uh, I, I had a record of that that my parents bought me because they realised that I was, I fancied myself as a bit of a musician, you know, when I was in my early teens and things, and they bought me Getting Sentimental Over You in what they thought was a jazzy version. It was Herb Albert and the T.U. on the Bronx. <laughs> T.U. on the taxi and the, you know, the Mexican flea or whatever it's called, all that stuff. Don't tell my mum I said that, will you? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is our last number of the of the Tommy Dorsey set, uh, and it's time to for you to leave the desert island and go back to the mainland that is Hopley Bay, um, and the jazzy stuff that goes on there instead of all the sentimental stuff that we've just been doing. So, as I said earlier, Tommy Dorsey wasn't a jazz trombone player per se but he was one fantastic technician on the trombone. And he wrote this piece of music in, forgive me, 1948. <laughs> and now, uh, but please don't leave. <laughs> this is entitled Trombonology.